Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on coding missing values using SPSS. So oftentimes in counseling research, when working with data sets, we're going to have missing values due to a wide variety of factors, such as a participant who cannot complete all the items in a survey, or who does not answer all the items in a survey error when entering the data in from the measurement to whatever program you're using to record data. And sometimes we'll receive data sets that are already completed that have missing values and we don't know why they're missing but we know we have to manage them through the process of analysis in SPSS. So I have here in the data view fictitious data that represent three variables and I have a string variable, Likert scale variable, and a scale variable. So these represent the three levels recognized by SPSS in the variable view. You can see the string, even though it could certainly be argued that this particular string is ordinal, uh, this is technically nominal because there are no values assigned to the strings in SPSS. Then I have Likert. I do have that set as ordinal, and then the scale variable set as scale. And remember in SPSS both interval and ratio data are considered scale. So moving back to the data view, as you can see to start with here I have no missing values. However, I am going to create a few to show you how to code missing values and how to recognize missing values in SPSS. So say that we're working with the scale variable. We'll start with that one. And I'll create two missing values here. So I'm just going to delete two values, records 13 and 15. All right, those, those cells are now deleted. And you can see there's just the period in there. And if I run an analysis on this variable to see how many missing values will recognize there are two. And there's, there's many different ways to determine missing values. You can use descriptive statistics, frequencies, uh, compare means, means. I'll go ahead and use the descriptive statistics and frequencies uh, method. And you can leave it just all set to default and move the variable of interest to the variable list box. If the only thing you're interested in is the missing values, of course, it's still going to give you the frequency tables. So you can see here you have two missing, and that's what we would expect because I deleted the values that are in these two cells. However, what if the information came over uh, coded, meaning instead of the cell being empty, there was a negative 99 entered in, and that's supposed to represent a missing value. If I were to go back in to analyze and frequencies, run the same analysis, it's going to show me zero missing values because SPSS doesn't recognize that you intend for negative 99 to be a missing value. You haven't coded that value as missing. So in order to code a value as missing, go back to the variable view and find the variable that you want to code, in this case scale, so it would be record 3, variable 3 and we'll go to missing and you can see there's this uh, blue square here we'll click here and right now it's set to no missing values that's the default but you have a choice here you can set discrete missing values or a range plus one optional discrete missing values so you specify a low and a high and you can also have one discrete value so let's let's go with the discrete missing values and we'll enter in negative 99 and click OK. Now you can see that value is in the uh, missing cell. I go back to data view and I'll run this analysis again. And you can see it now recognizes that there are two missing values and it specifies the value associated with uh, the missing value uh, negative 99. So what would happen in a case 
where you merged two data sets so say two researchers collected data for this variable and one used the negative 99 to code and I'll just take the last two variables here and change them to negative one so let's say whatever instrument this is right this is say an instrument that uses a t-score we know that a negative value would be very unlikely but it could also be that the instrument is designed so that it can't produce a negative value. So let's say that's the case here, and we have negative 1 and negative 1. So we have two values here that we want to code to missing, and we want the missing value to be negative 1. But we also want the negative 99 to be representative of a missing value. So we go back to the variable view, and in this case we can just put negative 1 in the text box to the right of negative 99 and click OK and you can see here it has negative 99 comma negative 1 and if I go back and run the frequencies I return with four missing values and then down here in the table you can see that it has negative 99 two cases and negative 1 two cases but all four are categorized as missing. So next I'll give you an example of using the range feature in the coding missing variables function and let's use the uh, Likert uh, variable here right so if I click the A1 you can see this is coded 1 through 6 and then the labels um, somewhat disagree, agree, disagree, you know, a very common system for a Likert scale. But the way SPSS is going to see these is numerically. This is a numeric variable. So because this is coded 1 through 6, you could have a situation where multiple researchers were gathering this information and it was decided that any value from 0 down through negative 100 were to be coded as missing. Right? So say at the end I'll just add some values they might use like negative 5, 0, negative 100, let's say negative 50. So we have four different codes there for negative values but all are between negative 100 and 0. So if we go to the variable view for the Likert variable, go to missing, and we can use this range plus one feature. We're not going to need the plus one. We'll just put the low in, negative 100, and the high as zero. Click OK. And I'll just run the analysis from this variable view. So analyze frequencies. Now I'm going to take the scale variable out and put the Likert variable in. But I'll make no other changes and click OK. And you can see there are four missing values recorded, and they are uh, the missing values that I listed in the variable. Now, the plus one discrete, you can see here, plus one optional discrete missing value, this feature. Uh, so you could have the negative 100 through zero, and then you could add. A discrete value. So this is a Likert scale that goes from 1 to 6. So a value that might be used to code uh, a missing value might be 100. So add that in because that's not a number that would appear from 1 to 6. So if I were to change say this strongly disagree value here uh, listed as a 6, I'll change that to 100. We would expect to see now 5 missing values. And if I go to frequencies, rerun the same analysis, we do have 5 missing values, and they are the ones that we would expect. So that's how you use the low to high and the plus 1 discrete variable feature. Now as you can see on the data view, I still have one variable, string, and even though I've covered how to code the missing values, there's one uh, particularly important 
element of working with strings that I want to point out. So let's say I delete uh, records 8 and 9. Right, so I have uh, 20 records and the cells for 8 and 9 are empty. I deleted them. Uh, notice uh, this is a string variable. There is no period that appears there. So it's completely empty. So now if I go back to the same analysis, analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies, I'm going to move Likert out and string over to the variable list box, make no other changes. You can see we have those two empty cells. I click OK and I show zero missing. So in SPSS, when you're working with strings, SPSS considers blank cells to be non-missing, meaning that they're considered valid values or potential valid values for a cell. And you can see it here in the table where it indicates that you see valid and there's just a blank space here but it has a frequency of 2. This is the value that is empty. But it shows up as actual valid value in this table. So the solution to this uh, potential problem is to use the automatic recode feature to convert variables recorded as strings to numerically coded variables, and I have a separate video that covers that. I hope you found this video on coding missing values to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.